Hi, I'm Oz Charlie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be chatting to you about ticks. Do please remember to hit the subscribe button down um, below and comment, like, ask me questions. You're really welcome to. So, little ticks. Oh, I hate them. Um, they're horrible little things that are on the up. They're particularly prevalent between April and October, although they are around all year round. Um, they are found in long grasses, brackens, ferns, um, along the side of uh, riverbanks, and particularly deer parks. Um, deer and um, animals are a big carrier of ticks. So you may be aware of them from being on your pets, particularly your dogs, um, but they do bite humans as well. And they carry not every tick, but um, some ticks carry Lyme's disease. And Lyme's disease is on the up. It is also um, very difficult to diagnose if it's not caught in time. So I want to chat to you a little bit about, um, you know, why I wanted to make this as well, because actually Archie, our eldest son, has had Lyme's disease. Luckily, we caught it really quickly and it was not an issue. Um, two thirds of ticks that carry Lyme's disease leave, um, a rash mark around the tick bite and that is a really obvious sign that um, the tick has Lyme's disease and it needs to, and you need to be treated but it is only two-thirds and it's that one-third that unfortunately um, can lead to all sorts of problems if it's not picked up on soon enough so we were actually in America on holiday we were on Cape Cod and it was our last day there we were playing in a friend's garden and Archie was on a swing there was long grass and the other two children were there as well um, he has he loves well he doesn't love he is loved by animals that bite or biting insects and cre creatures like that um, it's obviously the pheromones that he um, that he carries and, and he's loved. So he gets bitten a lot, poor boy. Um, so the other two have never had a tick bite, but Archie has had numerous. We never saw the tick. Um, I wasn't aware that he had been bitten by one at the time, but it was when we were back in the UK, he, um, he said, mommy, I've got this mark. And it was a, just a bit of a red rash on his thigh. That was on the Friday evening. On the Saturday morning, I checked it and it was a really obvious sign. I've got a photo, so I will post that on here so you can see. It's a really obvious bullseye. And it's known as a bullseye mark. Um, because I've spent a lot of time up in Scotland, um, as has Simon, um, particularly up in the Highlands, um, and there are a lot of deer up there, uh, and brackens and ferns and things like that. Um, I've been aware and around ticks all my life. So I do check the children regularly. And I also had heard about this bullseye mark and that it is a sign of Lyme's disease and you need to see a doctor as soon as possible. So I contacted our doctor surgery. We got an out of hours appointment. Unfortunately, the doctor, um, because the tick wasn't there, didn't necessarily believe me that it was a tick bite but I was fairly adamant that she was to put him on antibiotics immediately um, and we um, we got um, I got I got um, in touch with our GP on the Monday morning and we were referred up to a specialist at Great Ormond Street um, that specializes in you know tick bites and things like that and we got Archie on the right course of antibiotics he was on them for quite a long time and he had numerous blood tests to make sure that it was out of his system um, so removing ticks let's chat about that I actually carry these in my handbag so with four dogs and three children um, and Archie with being loved by ticks um, we've got a house down in Devon it was my mother's house and it's by the river there are always ticks so I do carry these um, on me the whole time now so there's a tiny wee one and a slightly bigger size so when the tick first is on your skin um, and it implants they're tiny and you need the smaller one and you literally just brush it up through its body and turn it anti-clockwise and then pull. Once it's been on your skin, they feed off your blood and it has like a sack on its back that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and that's when you would use the bigger one. It's quite important to, if you want to keep the tick and get it tested, to do that. If not, I actually um, squash it and flush it down the loo. 
and that's how we deal with it. I don't, I'm not gonna get every tick tested because you know, you've got to draw a line with being neurotic. Um, and I think we were lucky to pick up the Lyme's disease early, but uh, now it has had blood tests after since he's had other tick bites, but I'm not gonna get every tick um, that the dogs get tested. Um, he did once get a tick in his belly button and we were in Devon, we're in South Moulton Market when he said, mummy, look what I've got. And I ended up taking him to the vets because I didn't have any of these in my handbag. I've now got numerous packets of them. And he was queuing up with the dogs and the cats, had to go into um, the veterinary you know, room and lay on the table and the veterinary nurse removed the tick for us. Um, it's really important that if you see a tick, you don't panic and rush and think, oh my God, I've got to pull it off, get it off me, get it off me. You've got to get it out properly. If you leave the head in, that can cause an infection, goodness knows what. It won't cause Lyme disease. And it's not every tick that carries Lyme disease, so you don't need to panic but you just need to be aware of the bullseye ring or if you start getting flu-like symptoms severe headaches and you know that you've been bitten by a tick then it's really important to go and see your doctor and get the right treatment um, Matt Dawson contracted Lyme's disease in Richmond Park uh, and a few years ago he was incredibly ill so Matt Dawson the England rugby player and he was really, really ill from it. He had to have heart surgery. It really affected his body. He didn't know that he had Lyme disease. And if it's left untreated, it can be really, really serious. If it's picked up on quickly within a few weeks and you're given the right treatment of antibiotics, it is not a problem at all. It's really, you know, reacts really well to antibiotics and you don't need to worry about it. But, you know, flu-like symptoms, really severe headaches if you know that you've had a tick bite then immediately go and see your doctor you can remove a tick with tweezers use the pointy ones not the straight edged ones and you need to make sure that you get it as close to the skin as possible and pull upwards you only twist with these you don't want to twist with tweezers because you will leave its head in so that's really important and to clean the area with antiseptic um, or a bit of alcohol to make sure that it's totally clean. Um, there is, which Matt Dawson's involved in, the Big Tick Project, and they're doing a lot of research and a lot of um, the raising awareness into ticks. And, you know, it's why I wanted to chat to you, because having had Lyme's disease in the family, it's, it is scary, and I think we can be really vigilant and check our children, check ourselves if we've been out for a long walk wearing shorts or not even, because it can, you know, just crawl up your jeans and go in, you know, onto your tummy, your belly button, wherever, you know, check each other over. Anyway, I hope that you have found this useful and helpful. Do, do ask me any questions and yeah, check each other out for ticks.